I'm Ken Wei, and welcome to World Insight. Chinese President Xi Jinping hosts a virtual high-level dialogue on global development in Beijing on Friday, with leaders from BRICS and other emerging economies attending. The dialogue seeks to foster a global development partnership for the new era to jointly implement the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. In September last year, Xi proposed the Global Development Initiative calling on the world to advance on a priority basis cooperation on poverty alleviation, food security, COVID-19 response and vaccines, climate change, and many other areas. Now the Chinese President Xi Jinping reiterates that China is ready to work with BRICS partners to advance the Global Development Initiative for concrete outcomes and push for the UN 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. On the Global Development Initiative, or GDI, I talked to a panel with researchers and scholars coming from China and Africa. In Beijing, Judith Nuwai, research analyst at Development Imagined, welcome. And also in Shanghai, He Weiwen, senior fellow from the Chongyang Institute for Financial Studies of Renmin University of China. Welcome to both of you. The topic is quite a new concept, global development initiatives. Of course, uh, uh, when China raised that idea, there's a lot to explain and also a lot to uh, work on with the rest of the world. But uh, uh, Ms. Muwai, tell me more about how important it is that there is a global initiatives like the GDI to our countries to work together toward 2030, the SDGs? My understanding of uh, Global uh, Development Initiative is um, while it's a very relative uh, new concept, it's a new idea, we hope at least would be, you know, um, to frame it um, in terms of uh, going forward with the GDI initiative is, is that it could, you know, um, focus more at the structural level um, that is the structural level of, of, you know, change. What we hope to encourage is, is just um, self-sufficiency, you know, um, self-dependency, um, but also to highlight the importance of a multilateral um, system that is really, really supportive of, of the above mentioned uh, topics, yes. Mm. Mr. He, now, what is your understanding of GDI, particularly with the big umbrella of Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, by the United Nations? Yes, I think the, the objectives of the Global Development Initiative, GDI, and the objectives of the United Nations 2030 SDG are quite convergent. They are the same goal for the purpose for the welfare of the people, of the overwhelming majority of the people, but they are different. SDG only proposed the goals. However, GDI proposed the pathways how to hit goals. First, there are six major components. First, development comes first. Without development, we cannot hit any because the goals of SDG they included eradication of the poverty, hunger, and let everybody have a good job and have good uh, education, housing, and Medicare, but this only could be achieved by development. So number one component. Second is focus on people because the development goals in many developed countries are focused on capital. The capital makes money. The people mm. do not necessarily enjoy. So the focus of our GDI is people. So should be benefited to all the people alike. Third element is non-discrimination, benefiting all the people, inclusive. This is quite different from the fragmentation advocated by the United States and uh, some of the developed countries. They are forming their own circle at the cost of the vast majority of developing countries. And the fourth element is innovation. Without in the innovation, Without mm -hmm. catching up the latest development uh, advanced technologies of the world, we cannot have a good development for all the, the people. And the fifth one is the harmony of people and uh, nature. That means we should protect the nature and have the, the green development, which also supports the Paris Accord. 
The last one is action oriented because we have enough the forum, enough talks, mm. and enough uh, announcements, but uh, less the uh, actions. But this is a focus on action. Only mm. we can only reach the goal of the global development initiatives by concrete practical actions. So action right. oriented is the most important. Of course, you can see with the explanation of Mr. He, there are several principles of the GDI that are very clearly stated. And yet, how to make sure the contents will match at the philosophy of the initiative and also be inclusive enough? And I think that is a, a, a very interesting question. If you look at uh, some of the basic needs of the people, uh, you know, food, Medicare, and also uh, access uh, to basic uh, uh, education, healthcare. Um, these are clearly stated at the United Nations uh, uh, SDGs. And yet um, some of the crisis, both geopolitical crisis, as well as um, the pandemic has shown how vulnerable that uh, structure that we had earlier is. I understand that you are coming from Kenya, Ms. Mwai. That, of course, is a, is a strong and powerful African country. But African countries are very varied in their circumstances and in their vulnerability degrees of vulnerabilities facing crisis. So how do you understand as a whole, you know, the urgent needs? Now, when you talk about uh, building multilateral cooperation, what does it mean uh, for China and Africa, uh, if uh, GDI will be a, a way, a path to get there. When you look at the UN report, you know, um, for instance, the report that we published, the Sustainable Development Solutions Network, um, this is a very, very helpful report. But at the same time, you know, um, we have to be very, very careful not to blame the victims. You know, um, African countries, uh, lower middle income countries are basically at this moment the victims. And, you know, um, they're victims to the challenges of the world. Uh, and that means that they are unable to make progress on the SDGs. Many African governments, many governments around the world, you know, are really trying to take as much action as they can. They are implementing solutions. But I think what the world needs to do is to try to find the space and, and to create the space for governments to act. And I think that is where we are just not really mm. doing enough. Um, even things like the IMF special drawing rights, which you know were issued in, in response to the IMF in 2021, um, out of the vast majority of just, you know, out of the vast majority of those, just 7%, you know, 7% mm. went to African countries, just 7%, and that is just not enough. We really need China to be ahead of the game. You know, we need China to be advocating, you know, for these kinds of, you know, structural solutions and, and also to be ready to, to bring them in um, itself. Of course, things are very complicated. Now geopolitics uh, plays its game and making everything much more complicated. So how do you see, you know, now China raised uh, the uh, Global Development Initiative and try to find more partners. Uh, for example, 100 countries uh, within the United Nations have already expressed their appreciation for the GDI. About 50 countries uh, uh, are uh, joining the uh, what they call the friends circles of GDI. So what would this mean to quicken up the process of many of the uh, epidemics, shall I say, uh, quote unquote, that are existing in our international system, Mr. Hu. Yes, I think uh, the GDI and uh, although proposed only by less than, since less than one year ago, it has been growing very fast. Over 130 countries supported and joined in. That means this initiative enjoys the strong support by the vast majority of the world population. On the other side, we should continue to work through the existing multilateral mechanism. For instance, mm -hmm. the recent concluded the WTO MC12 was a shining example. We hit the deal, the, uh, the agreement 
of the temporary waiver of the vaccine uh, patent that was reached through 164 members hard work, especially China, United States, India, and Africa, South Africa worked played a major role. So China, India, and South Africa, all three belong to BRICS countries. And we can work together among ourselves and also within the existing multilateral mechanism. There is a struggle about priorities, what to focus on, and uh, what is the entry point. Uh, when the GDI talk about development, how to do that within the very complex circumstances and the struggling priorities. I think the current geopolitical tension is a very, very big challenge to global development initiative because it just wants to divide the world by based on the value and by the, their own interest to set up small circles uh, and they want to make confrontation instead of cooperation. So this is, uh, I think, the, one of the top challenges of the day. Uh, however, on the other hand, the geopolitical tension currently majors happened in Europe and Asia, and less in Africa and the Latin American Caribbean. I think the Asia, Africa, and Latin American countries could go on you know, with good cooperation. We should continue to develop by our own approach to reinforce to help development by all countries and with this good purpose, people-centered, inclusive development for all. I think they will support us. On the other hand, we can also open cooperation with Europe, with America. They are not conflicted. So in that case, we are aiming at global development. I think I by that gesture, we can win more people all over the world. Mm -hmm. Hewei Wen, Judith Mwai, thank you so much for your input. Really appreciate it.